Blue face, baby. Yeah, all right, man. I'm here with Fuse Media, man. Getting that exclusive interview. Yeah, all right, pop. Refused to fuck with the media, but I had to tap in with my people, man. Refused media. That interview coming soon. They just lined me up for the free throw. You hear me? Yeah. Do be on the lookout. Oh. What's good? What's good? What's good with it, man? It's your boy, man, Top Shelf Jock, man. We finna kick off another motherfucking Refuse interview. And y'all see who the fuck I got next to me, yeah, nigga. Hey. Yeah, that nigga y'all been asking for. Y'all been asking for this man. one, my nigga. Blueface, nigga. Blueface, baby. Uh, hey, man. Going up. Mm-hmm. So we finna kick up, kick this shit off, my nigga. We gotta talk about that name. They know I'm finna ask you. So where the name Blueface come from? Uh, shit, it's just the hood name, man, special. Simple as that. Just Simple as that. It's off top. That's a schoolyard. Blue face. That's really it. And how long? Yeah, you be saying that shit. Yeah, that shit cold. You that's be, hey, my is. favorite song on your shit. Uh, respect, respect this cribbing. Oh, you heard that? And, oh, that's that my favorite song school. too. That's yeah. your favorite one? Yeah. That's my favorite one. You kill it on that yeah, one, nigga. I mean, it didn't go up like all the other ones though, but. <coughs> that's my favorite yeah, one, nigga. nigga. How, long, how long you been rapping? Uh, shit, I only been rapping for about nine months now. Almost a year, man. Trying to be there at that year mark though, man. Nigga, that's hella early. You called. Man, I ain't playing. And what made you do it? So basically, uh, I started I start hanging around more of the artist side of schoolyard. You know, my, my nigga TC. Went to a couple of his shows. Shit, it was, it was lit. I still wasn't really thinking about rapping though. It was just cool to be in the scene. Mm -hmm. And then shit, I had took him to one of his shows. But he had left a little charger piece to the iPhone. You know, you gotta put it from the uh, the aux to the cord to the iPhone because the new shit. Yeah, so boom, he had left that in my car. Shit, I guess niggas can't go without that shit. So he uh, he had invited me to the studio. He, ain't, he never invited me to the studio before, so it wasn't like a regular thing. That's why I think it was kind of destiny. Yeah. So yeah, boom. So I pull up, I give him that. They had the studio there. They playing the beats, whatever. Everybody writing to the beat and shit. Shit, I felt like I was an opportunity and I'm an opportunist, man. So I took full advantage and I started shit, writing my own shit. Oh, you wasn't spooked or nothing for it to be your first time? Most niggas be in there with rappers and shit, like nigga. Uh, I, I don't just, know. It's different. I'm just kind of old. Like, I'm, all right. I, at the time, I was like 19. So it was like, I don't know. Nigga fake, I already knew himself. So it was like, nigga, I wasn't worried about what none other nigga think. I really just wanted to try it. Okay. Yeah, so, no, I wasn't sorry or nothing, but as soon as I heard my voice, man, it was a rap. I was so... Okay, okay. Nigga, I just seen you had a motherfucker. you got a barber pole tatted, nigga. You cut uh, hair too, nigga? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I would, man. Man, nigga do everything, man. nigga. Genius. I do a lot, man. And but, we yeah. got it, and now it's explaining, so now, you, okay, now we got to talk about the haircut, nigga. <laughs> Cause nigga, now yeah, I see exactly. nigga, it's interesting, it's different, one of a kind, my nigga, where that come from? Man? Yeah, that, I mean, shit. Really, is this? Uh, it's your own. It's called a drop fade, but shit, I just threw the little uh, little part in it. I seen a couple people do it though. And the top shit, I just I just let it do it what it wanna do, man. Yeah. And, uh, shit, it just came farther and farther away from cutting it off. So fuck it, we rocking with it right now. Okay. Okay. Who you listen to when you when you was a kid coming up? So who did I listen to? Uh, I used to listen to the gang. 50 Cent, uh, G Unit, everybody, that shit was going stupid. Uh, Snoop, obviously. Shit, everybody really, yeah, that's really about it. Drake been around for a minute too, so I really been fucking with him for the longest. And yeah. where, and I'm, what I'm getting to is, nigga, where that interesting unorthodox style you got come from, bro? Uh, like, like, it's creative. Um, you know, I'm, I'm on YouTube heavy, so I'm reading the comments. Uh, okay, it's yeah. I mean, to me, it's almost, it's not like you rapping off beat on purpose, but you definitely know you're not riding the beat like these other niggas, yeah, and exactly. you swagging that shit the exactly, fuck out, yeah. nigga. Like, yeah, me. Okay, so I'm on the, the money one. Okay. The beat go on my court. I don't go on the beat of court. I, don't know. I noticed that. Yeah, me. So I noticed that. As long as I'm saying some hard shit. <laughs> They You'll come like, in on the low. Yeah, exactly. On the low, and oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, so. it makes perfect sense. Exactly. Like, nigga, it's cold. That's yeah, really it's like slack. I think that's like people take it to it quicker and they stick it quicker just based off that alone. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not something you mm -hmm. used to, you know. 
A lot of people like to try to compare me to a lot of people that don't even rap the same. I don't, it don't make sense. Yeah, yeah. What? What you? What? What? Uh, I'm gonna I'm say. I'm gonna say what I think they saying. You let me know. What? You get silk the shocker. I've heard that one before. I've that's heard pretty much on. That's pretty much on. I mean, who else they say? Sugar free. Uh, Sugar free, sugar free. I have no idea how I rap like sugar free. You don't rap like sugar free. It's the shit that you say another rapper won't say. Like what you say, you what you say, you you'll break a bit. What you? Uh, some you'll break a bitch for something and sell it back to her. Oh, uh, ah, oh, they go, they gonna say it all through oh, the comments okay, yeah, too. I was talking about. I was like, what I say? Give her crib big, blow her mind, now she mindless. Take it from her, put it in my pocket, up her find it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't lying. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Ain't like nobody cake. So fuck it. I'm finna put it in the bitch face. Beat the pussy up. All right. Speaking of that, yeah, man. I should go. Speaking of that, yeah, did you use a motherfucking dick pic for the motherfucking cover art to one of your goddamn songs, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I'll you know what? I the fuck did. <laughs> and that blue nigga. <laughs> now look, hey, this the coldest shit to me. You know, I, I, I look, I look in the shit, I listen to shit and code shit like that. Mm. Did some, did it, or look, did it go like this? Did somebody try to play you, and you took what they tried to play you with, and 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 killed it? Made that historical, exactly. And I blew up off that dumbass shit. Oh, that's the coldest so basically, shit. Basically, yeah. Somebody commented. I'm still new to this fame shit, so I'm not used to random people just saying random shit. Somebody commented like, oh, fake tags, woo woo woo. I'm like, man, this this nigga. Yeah. So I went on my Snap store and I took it, I'm taking a full, I'm taking a golden shower with all my shit on, brushing my teeth with my grill and everything. So I guess, <laughs> guess the camera, I didn't see my dick was in it when I posted it or else I wouldn't have posted it, but like, then again, it's a lot of people watching. There's <laughs> a lot more people looking for a lot more different things, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So, yeah. Somebody got this perfect ass angle screenshot, nigga. Dick looking hurt. Still gonna have to lose it off. Off Snapchat, you was popping uh, on, at that. On my on my Instagram story. So that's what really started it. Okay. So boom. <coughs> I didn't know my dick was in it until somebody tagged me on their story, like, oh. So I'm like, oh. As soon as I seen it. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck I'm finna do now? I, you feel me? Turn nothing in the south. Man. A nigga dick is out there looking hurt. Like nigga, if I'm gonna go off with a dick pic, it's gonna be a good one. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> so I had to put it in her face, man. Get, <coughs> get rid of the politics. Simple. I understood it. Fuck what nigga talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot all of people right. didn't understand it though, but a lot of people did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you get it, you get it. Yeah, yeah, you done, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So let's talk about famous crib. Um, how long it take you to record the project? Yeah, so the Famous Crip started out as an EP, so I made it after Dead Lux Part 2, probably like a month after Dead Lux, or not even a month, probably like two weeks, because Dead Lux Part 2 was going stupid the first first day, really. So I'm like, yeah, I got to drop something else, because they listening right now. Yeah. So yeah, boom. When this shit recorded the, the hottest six songs, I could record it and shit, that shit was stupid too, so really just... Try to stay consistent, man. Keep the yeah. shit going. Yeah, keep that shit going. It's gonna come in you faster. Gonna, yeah, you gonna blow the fuck up, my nigga. Mark my word. Why? But yeah, a lot of these niggas be skipping steps, but oh, you see straight. A lot of these niggas be skipping steps, man. They wanna drop a mixtape. They ain't got no fans. Mm. That's gonna look through the mixtape to mm. pick one song that's gonna be their hit song and really fuck with them, you know? Yeah. Or yeah. they'll shoot a video and the song not even going up, like. That shit famous niggas do that, so I already got it. So like, you feel me? I took a different approach. I said I tried to, I was waiting for a hit song. That's I knew that's really all I needed. So that's I said, what's up. Hit song, I just had to manipulate everything else, you feel me? Pulling up to the high schools, performing. Mm -hmm. You see all that shit? Mm -mm. Oh you ain't even seen none of that? Mm -mm. Oh, you ain't even been doing it home. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I've been slipping. Hold on, you was performing at the high Man. schools and shit? I put up oh, to wait, like, wait, 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 wait. No, I think I seen you perform yeah, at a yeah. show, but not at high school. Because like, at really a high school, do, do they let you take your shirt off and all that shit? Yeah, okay, then up. I did. When you, okay, you, you did the little dance and all that shit. Car. Yeah, That's okay, I seen it. Baby. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah I seen that shit. Did that, man. See, I, oh. <laughs> I had to show them the star pattern, man. Stop playing, all right. 
They got real star power, man. So once oh. they seen that, you feel me? Yeah. They just start flooding in. You feel me? That's what's up. So I'm just, yeah, just keep this shit going. That's man. cracking. Yeah, keep it going. What's I'm your favorite, favorite food? Campaigning like I'm going to run for president. <laughs> Which uh, what is my food favorite food? Uh, shit. Chicken? And he's saying chicken. From where? Uh, damn, I wasn't expecting that. Where I gotta go to hood each, nigga? Uh, I like Roscoe's. Roscoe. Oh, we did that. We did that? We of course did you that. did. That's like, <laughs> everybody know that spot. Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably it for me. Roscoe's. That'll sure. work. Right there on Pico. Not the one in Hollywood. You ever had any other job? Oh yeah, we talked about it. You was a barber. What other jobs you had other than rap? Uh, shit, I did some retail for a little bit. Mm. Worked at a... Oh, fuck that. I don't even want to say all <laughs> that. It's a bullshit. <laughs> oh, I think I had to do it. Yeah, it. Me, you hear it down, me, nigga. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I'm a hustler. I'm going to get it regardless. All right, nigga. What advice would you give yourself? Like, if you could speak to Blueface when he was 15, nigga, you in high school, you playing football, you school to school. And I, I'm not saying your life won't change because of the advice. I'm just saying you knew that you was finna do this right now. What would you tell yourself? If I knew I was finna do this? You knew you was finna do You knew what was coming. Oh, Ben started rapping. I would've been rapping at 15, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, people used to tell me all the so time. So basically your advice would be do it now. Yeah, do it earlier. Do it I wasted a lot of time. Off top. What you love about being a rapper? Shit, what do I love about being a rapper? Shit, pulling up to the party. Everybody going stupid. <laughs> The bouncer let you in. <laughs> the the, the, the book nigga hand you your money. <laughs> you get on the motherfucking stage and you turn the party up for about 10 minutes. And get cracking. And you get paid. And get paid. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> Off top, nigga. Man. You get cracking and get paid. All right, nigga, before we get up out of here, nigga, I got to know what's your top five, nigga, who you fucking with. Or, you know what I'm saying, top five in the game, dead or alive. You know what? To be honest with you, I really don't know because I really don't be listening to, like, I don't know, I guess because I make music now, so I really don't be listening mm. to shit, really. Mm. It seemed like to me. Nah, that's a, nah, that's a fair answer. Yeah. Off yeah. top, off top, man. There it is, man. That's the interview y'all wanted, man. I couldn't wait to do it, man. Hey, right, man, I appreciate you having me, bro. Good looking, man. There it is. Top shelf shot, blue face, refused media. All right.